heard it said that in your long house there is an attic place filled with dead epics and machines that rust. I'm Bill Schuster. I'm a troubadour. This is my attic place and it's filled with song. I'll sing the song of storm-tossed oceans standing upon my native shore. And dream of climbing cloud-torn mountains while gazing up from the forest floor. So here's to the dreams that have long gone by. Again, that blue American roof over a half-forgotten battle tomb, and call unsurely from haunted ground, armies of shadow, and the shadow sound. over 3,000 miles long. It's actually somewhat longer than the Mississippi. In the 1820s and 30s, you could take a steamboat down the Ohio River, or a right turn on the Mississippi, then a quick left turn at that scrappy frontier town of St. Louis. And there you could follow those meandering, muddy curves of that Missouri River in the same steamboat until you found yourself deep in the rocky mountains of Montana. You 
cannot do that nowadays, no sir. Thanks to progress and the ever busy Army Corps of Engineers. But it was way back in the late 1700s when the French voyagers carried their traded Indian wares and their lilting songs down to the seaport city of New Orleans, where the American sailors picked up on the songs and took them aboard what we now call the tall ships. Use them for raising sail and raising anchor upward bound. So that's how a song born deep in the heartland of this continent by the very early 1800s could be heard echoing across the far exotic harbors of Canton, Shanghai, Calcutta, Cape Town, and the old ports of Europe. Oh, Shenandoah, I took an ocean far away, rolling river, to sail across the stormy ocean. Far away, we're bound away, crossing the wide Missouri. Farewell, my love, I'm bound to leave. Shenandoah, I'll not deceive you. Far away, we're bound away, crossing the water. Green grow the laurel, sparkling with dew. I'm lonely, my darling, since parting with you. By the next meeting, I hope to prove true. I'll change the green laurel for the red, white, and blue. Actually, a lot of people sing green grow the lilacs, all sparkling with dew. It was originally the laurel, look on a Mexican flag. Underneath the eagle, a laurel wreath. Green grow the laurel, all sparkling with dew. Now I'm lonely, my darling, since parting with you. By the next meeting, I hope to prove true. Change the green laurel for the red, white, and blue. Mexican War. 70,000 U.S. soldiers invading, all singing this song. Green grow the laurel, all sparkling with dew. Now I'm lonely, my darling, since parting with you. By the next meeting, I hope to prove true. Change the green laurel for the red, white, and blue. Once I had a sweetheart, but now I have none. Since she left me, I care not for none. 
Since she left me contented I'll be For she loved another one better than me Manifest destiny Changing the laurel wreath to the red, white, and blue So green grow the laurel all sparkling with dew Now I'm lonely, my darling, since parting with you by the next meeting, the hope to prove true. Change the green laurel to the red, white, and blue. I passed my love's window, both early and late. The look that she gave me would make your heart ache. The look that she gave me was painful to see. For she loved another one better than me. So many American soldiers singing this song. The Mexicans started saying, Here come the gringo soldiers. Gringo, the laurel all sparkling with dew. Now I'm lonely, my darling, since parting with you. By the next meeting, I hope to prove true. I'll change the green laurel for the red, white, and blue. Change a green laurel for the red, white, and blue. Now, almost 200 years later, they still call us the Gringos. Sun shines bright on the old Kentucky hole. To summer the darkies are gay. Corn tops ripe and the meadows all in bloom. And the birds make music all the day. Young folks play on the little cabin floor, all happy, all merry and bright. By and by, hard times, comes a knocking at the door, then my old Kentucky home. Good night. good friends from Kentucky. All I have to do is just start playing a couple chords of this song and they go all blubbery on me. One of my friends I asked, what do you do about that politically incorrect word darky? Oh, we don't say darky. We sing darky. No, we, we sing people. Well, thinks I, Oh, and you're making that song politically correct. In some ways, you're sucking the soul right out of it. So with risk to offending your ears, let me continue in the way it was originally written. We will hunt no more for the possum and the coon on the hill the valley and shore. We will sing no more by the glimmer of the moon on the bench by the old cottage door. 
for the day goes by like a shadow o'er the heart all sorrow where once was delight but the time has come when the darkies have to part then my old Kentucky home good night Kentucky home for the old Kentucky home far away. You see, when it's a darky, it's a slave father being separated from his family, sold quite literally down the river into the sugar plantations of the deep south. And in those sugar plantations, Mississippi, Louisiana, the slave had an average life expectancy of less than two years. Hence, the last verse. Oh, the head must bow, and the back will have to bend wherever the darky may go. Just a few more days, and the trouble all will end in the field where the sugar cane grows. Just a few more days for to tote the weary load. No matter, it will never be light. Just a few more days. Till I totter on the road, then my old Kentucky home. Good night. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song. For the old Kentucky home, for the old Kentucky home, far away. Frederick Douglass said that this song did more to put a human face on the institution of American slavery than all the great oratory and editorials of his day. Weep no more, my lady, oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for the old Kentucky home, the old Kentucky home. In the 1850s, an old ex-sailorman wandered around through the plantations of the South. He passed himself off to the ruling whites as a house painter. But the slaves, they knew him differently. And they had a name for him. They called him the Old Man. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. Follow the drinking gold. 
At night, the old man would join the slaves around the perimeters of those plantations. Around the campfires. They'd sing songs, tell stories. But when they got to this song, everybody, they just shut up and they'd listen to a careful way. Because the old man was telling them in a code how to get to that first terminal of the Underground Railroad, which was going to carry them to freedom. And the whole idea was, should you get lost, scared, and confused, which can happen, particularly when people are shooting at you, dogs are nipping at your heels, then you look along the horizon for the Big Dipper. The outside edge of that Big Dipper are called the Pointer Stars. They point to the North Star any time at night, any time of year. You follow the drinking door. When the sun comes up and the first quail calls, oh, follow the drinking door. Then the old man's waiting to carry you to freedom. Tom Bigby River. He looked for his mark on dead trees. He carves it in with his bowie knife. A line and a dot. A leg and a paint. Oh, the river bank will make your body good food. Dead trees will show you the way. It's right foot, paint foot, traveling on. You gotta follow the drinking gold. You gotta follow Gotta follow the drinking gold. Oh, the old man's waiting to carry you to freedom. Follow the drinking gold. You look on a map, the Tom Bigbeard River ends up in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. You see another little stream on the other side of that first mountain that goes north into the Tennessee. Tennessee, it flows north into the Ohio. You get across that Ohio River, you're a lot closer to freedom. Oh, well, the river ends between two hills. Oh, follow the drinking gold. There's another river on the other side. So Follow. 